What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to our Hidden Gem series as we look at an alternative to the beast that is Neymar. Now, obviously, look, Neymar is one of the top 10 players in the game. His legend card, I would say, is in, is in the top five. He is absolutely insane. But, you know, you can always get very similar players to him in terms of style, in terms of positioning, in terms of movement, in terms of stats, in terms of player skills, everything can be compared with different players in the game and this is what this hidden gem series is all about because look Neymar his standard card right is 450,000 GP now yes Neymar is Neymar he is going to be one of the best players in the game he is one of the best dribblers in the game a lot of people play him as an attacking midfielder I always play him in there if I am losing to kind of like bring everything you know in He's got unbelievable player skills. He's got excellent player ID. He is down as a creative playmaker. So I think playing him as that attacking midfielder is very, very key. But I usually play him as a left winger, right? Now, when we show him maxed out on eFootballDB.com here, we have got 91 acceleration. We've got 90 ball control, 92 dribbling and 91 possession. And then we've also got the kick and power, the offensive awareness, the low pass, the balance. Everything is kind of fairly stacked. But again, as I said, he is 450,000 GP, lads, which is a lot of GP unless you have been deliberately saving. So who we are going to look for here is a guy that plays for uh, Leon over in the French League, League One. And we are going to go down here and to this right winger, Tete. Now, this guy is a monster, lads, right? He starts off as a, as a 73 overall right winger, but he is left footed. And you know that from watching my videos, the likes of Anthony and the likes of um, Sa uh, Mane and Sane, or Sane from Bayern Munich, you know, left-footed right wingers are super, super OP this year, like absolutely insane. Now, we are going to take a closer look at him when he is maxed out, but look how these stats like align up with Neymar, right? We've got 81 speed and 91 acceleration, which is the same or quicker. His ball control, dribble and tight possession is extremely similar. The only thing that's lacking is his balance, his passing and his offensive awareness. But playing him as a right winger, we don't really need that of offensive awareness. His balance and his passing is, is good enough. And when we actually compare the players from left to right here, we've got the skills on the right, we've got the stats on the left. You can see here that depending on how you train him up, you can definitely get different versions of him, but they all kind of align and they all kind of look extremely similar to each other. Now, obviously, Neymar is going to have a 94 overall rating as a left winger because he is Neymar. But this guy has got an 87 overall rating and we're going to get a closer look in a second at his ultimate stats and how they compare with the ultimate version of how you train him up but even in in the training mode lads i always go into training mode and test out players um you know testing them out online is one thing but you can test by the movement and how they control and how they accelerate and stuff like that and when you actually bring up the comparison screen here you've got you know speed he actually outperforms Neymar. Acceleration is the same. Ball control is two less. Dribbling is two less. Tight possession is the same. Low pass is the big discrepancy there. But balance is a small bit down as well. But for the price you are paying of 18,000 GP, to get a player this good, you know, compared to Neymar, I would definitely say, unless you have the luxury of buying Neymar, this guy is an absolute monster, lads. He's super, super quick. He's uh, low center of gravity. He's obviously the same height as Neymar pretty much the same weight the same control the same handle he is obviously just on the right side of the field rather than the left side and he can't play any other positions really you are buying him as an outright right winger so you know this follows through then to the to the actual player skills and the playing ai style as well so you've got trickster incisive run speeding bullet amazing run is the player style and then you've got the player skills all of these are the same so it's absolutely incredible that this guy is so cheap and he's also got super sub even if you were to bring him on as off the bench in the second half you are going to have a top class player sorry Les, i need a drink of water but you're going to have a top class player that's coming off the bench so you know there is a lot of guys like this but i haven't seen somebody stack up as close to neymar in you know body style uh, height weight speed stats attributes player skills playing style everything like he actually plays like uh you know a mini Neymar obviously that's like what 18,000 GP which is for for pennies really I mean you can afford this guy sitting down playing for 20 minutes and playing a couple of objectives you can probably afford this guy so 
definitely check him out. Let me know what you guys think. He is only 18,000. Um, now, in terms of training him up, I will say that he does cost a bit to train up because obviously he does have a lot of levels to go. And this is why I always talk about, you know, the, the players that need to, that have max potential, like that are maybe like 72 to 76 overall, that have high levels past the 35 mark, they are going to take about, you know, 60,000 trainer points. So that is the one thing you guys will need to look at there. I think he actually takes 65 or 62, I think it is. Yeah, 62,000 trainer points. That gives him 80 progression points, and you're going to want to pump them in to dexterity, dribbling, and lower body strength and they are the stats that you want to upgrade the most but that is it for me lads i think he's an absolute monster of a player check him out let me know what you guys think if you have heard of him before if you're using him in your squad or if this is another hidden gem that you guys will check out and uh yeah i will let you guys go and i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this series give me any recommendations in the comments below peace